Hello everyone and welcome to Jump Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we have a very challenging service call. Up in the ceiling there we have two air handlers and we have two condensing units outside and we're gonna rewire the entire control circuit. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. Up there we have the two condensing units and up in the ceiling we have the two air handlers. I was here on a previous visit. As you can see we have one thermostat, but it's controlling four sections of units. And how is that possible? Well, if we go under here, we can see a bunch of madness. But over here, it's just truly unbelievable. Look at all those relays he installed. There's literally four transformers <laughs> in this whole setup. I literally said I had enough of this because the we had too many shorts. The breaker kept blowing its fuse. Excuse me, the transformer. And you know what? It's just time to go. So I had an idea. How about we rebuild the entire low voltage circuit? This unit is being replaced in three months and it's honestly pretty much already done. But we have a party tomorrow in this event space and they need air conditioning. So instead of one thermostat for two units, we're gonna put a thermostat for each unit. We're gonna run all new wire to the air handlers and then outside. Inside, we're gonna use a contactor and a transformer and outdoors, we're gonna put a new contactor and I do have the capacitors. 210 microfarads for the outdoor, excuse me, for the indoor and five microfarads for the outdoor. The transformers are using are gonna be universal. This one, I installed the breaker type where the previous one was fused. So this one's ready to go. We're gonna install another transformer contacted there and pretty much just a bunch of madness today. So <laughs> let's just hope and see if this works. Here I have two thermostats. I'm gonna get rid of this one and mount the two over here as it's pretty much out of everyone's way. And then run the wire up and to the air handler. So let's mount these and start to run that wire. All right, so I mounted two thermostats and I wired it internally. So from here, I'm gonna run this wire across here and into here. And it's not gonna be a big deal to have everything behind the walls as they're actually gonna demolish this whole area in three months. So it's not a big deal. We just need air conditioning until then. So we're just gonna run everything across, but we might go into here. There's an access panel. I'm hoping I can get to the access to the wires that go outside. So if anything, I can splice my connection and then we already have wires going out there. Hopefully those wires are good and there's no issue. If so, then should be good to go. Got the two thermostats over there. Got wire going across. It's just gonna go up right there. That's where they wanted it. Got one cable into this unit. Here's the next one. We're gonna run it into there. And as far as here, I did put in that transformer, so that's good. This relay is gonna go. We're gonna put in a contactor. And let's redo all this. Got the contactor and transformer wired with some of the thermostat cable. This motor's wired capacitor. So now we have to run one wire to the condensing unit. And then pretty much what we did here, we're gonna have to do at this unit. So at that point, both thermostats will be wired and both air handlers will be wired. All right, so we pretty much got this side wired as well. Here's my common OB terminal for our solenoid valve. And here's our Y wire for our condensing unit, compressor and condenser fan motor. So this one's pretty much done. This is honestly one of the craziest jobs I've definitely ever done. So thermostat and air handler wired, thermostat, air handler wired. Now, what we need to do is run a wire from here to one condensing unit and another one from here 
to the next condensing unit but in that hole right there it looks like we can get to the wires that go outside so let's see what we can get in there but well, we're gonna have to snake some wires from here to there and one from there to there here we are at the condensing units so we're gonna get rid of this contact there it's a three pole really should be a two and pretty much get rid of everything here except our capacitor so let's go ahead and figure out how to wire this all up all right we got everything in got this all connected just got to make the last thermostat connection at the blower that goes outside and we should be able to at least test one all right guys it's the moment of truth i programmed the thermostat let's go ahead and turn it on menu fan is on auto let's put it on on done i heard a click and the fan motor is running wow all right let's put it back in auto and let's turn on the cooling all right menu mode cooling done Drop the temperature. Fan started there. Let's see what's going on out there. All right, guys. Condenser fan motor is running, and so is the compressor. I feel cold air coming out of here, so we might actually be in heat mode. I feel the suction line. Oh yeah, the suction line is hot. Let's just make sure we got the correct condensing in it with the correct blower. All right, here's the suction line. It's hot. So we're in heat mode right now, but we got the right condensing unit with the right blower. They're actually, we're supposed to have a party tomorrow, but somehow, for some reason, they decided, you know what, let's throw an event here today when we have an emergency call set up so we can get it done for the next day. You know what, let's just throw a party. So I'm gonna try to at least get one unit going. So we're gonna close this up, but first I need to make sure we got cooling going on. I left these two wires disconnected for the reversing valve. I just gotta make sure that I wire that correctly and we should be good to go. All right, we got the covers back on. Got the system running. This is a thermometer for surface. So you're not getting the exact air, you're getting the surface temperature, but you can see 60 degrees right there. 59 degrees, that's a beautiful thing. All right, guys, we have air conditioning. At least we have something for tonight. This job was supposed to be ready for tomorrow as the party was tomorrow, but for some reason, they decided to have an event tonight. But anyways, we're gonna leave this video here. I'm pretty much gonna have to go in and do the same thing. I couldn't get too far into detail as this was quite difficult and I really needed to think and it was just too much. It was one thing after another, but hope you found this video interesting or helpful. And if you did, Please drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.